In the last few months, I talked numerous times about wireless microphone sets as well as body pack recorders. Now in this video, I wanna specifically go over what the benefits are of a wireless unit or when you might wanna choose a body pack recorder that has no wireless built in. Let's start with establishing the differences between a body pack recorder and a wireless unit. Starting out with the Tentacle Track E, which is a 32-bit floating point audio recorder, which was provided to me by Tentacle Sync a couple of months ago for making of videos and use in my studio here. Now this is a body pack recorder which features a 32-bit floating point audio recording of a mono channel. You can plug in any kind of microphone at the top right here, whether that's a Lavier microphone, any kind of TRS-based microphone or what have you. You of course have a SD card right in the side here because the audio is not transmitted from here to anywhere else, it is recorded right inside of this device which gives it a lot of benefits, but also some drawbacks. And I will talk about those in comparison to a wireless unit shortly. Basically, you have a battery, you have a SD card, and you have a analog to digital converter, which takes the audio signal from the microphone and converts it to data on your SD card. Now, the other thing with the Track E specifically is that it also has a timecode generator built in and Bluetooth connection to your phone, for example, so that you can sync this with other devices with the help of, for example, a Tentacle Sync E device, which is a timecode generator for general cameras and so on. Now, this is a topic that I have discussed deeply in other videos, and you can check those out in the description below. I will have some links there, and I will also link a video up here. Generally, this is a really high quality recording, especially featuring the 32-bit floating point audio, but of course, it also has certain use cases where you can't really use it because it is a body pack recorder and it does not transmit the audio wirelessly. Now, on the other hand, we have wireless units like the Rode Wireless Go, the Rode Wireless Go 2, which was recently released, as well as the Hollyland Lark 150, the Comica Boom XD2, as well as, of course, Filmmaker Kit from Rode, Sennheiser wireless microphones, and so on and so on. There are tons of different units from tons of different manufacturers at different price points as well as skill level or um, professionalism level, I would say. Now, generally speaking, with wireless units, you have two parts. You have the transmitter, which has either a built-in microphone like the Wireless Go here or the Hollyland Lark 150, and also a TRS plug to be able to plug in a microphone additionally. Some more professional sets also have different types of plugs or screwable mounts. That's also a bit of a nice thing to have. Now, the transmitter basically transforms the audio signal from an analog signal to a digital signal. So this is where the AD converter lives. And then on the other hand, you have the digital receiver, or at least most of those types of receivers are nowadays digital, and they receive the signal from the transmitter and turn it back into an analog signal so that it can be output to the TRS port and then into your camera mic port or your audio recorder if you plug it in there. Now this of course has a lot of plus sides, but it also has some downsides. Now starting out, both of these need battery power and you have to worry about both of them to be able to stay connected and have your audio go through. So always check whether or not the batteries are filled on both of these devices. Now with a body pack recorder, you would only have to worry about one device or at least only if you have one person talking, then you would have to worry about one device. However, that's also battery powered. Now in comparison to one of those body pack recorders, wireless units have a handful of really good benefits. Some of which are, for example, that you can actually monitor the audio on the side of the camera so that the person behind the camera can actually listen to you whether or not the microphone is placed well and the levels are right. With a body pack recorder, on the other hand, you either only have the option to see the levels, for example, with the Track E, you have the Bluetooth app where you can still see the levels whether or not you are right next to the device or not. But you don't really have the option to monitor the audio, at least not from a distance. With the Track E, in Europe at least, you have a headphone jack on the top here where you can plug in headphones and you can monitor whilst recording and also whilst you're not recording. However, in the US, the headphone jack is this disabled for listening if you are also recording at the same time. Now with the wireless unit, you don't have any problems like that. You just plug in your headphones on your camera and you're good to go. You can listen in on the audio that is coming through this type of set. Now in the realm of the signal actually being sent to your camera, you have a handful of great benefits there. For example, you can use that audio signal straight away for live streaming, which you just simply can't with a body pack recorder. 
you can also have the audio straight up recorded into the same video file so that you don't have any synchronization after the fact whatsoever. That of course is granted you record into the same camera that you then also record the video into. Now, if you have multiple cameras, then you already have something to sync and it might not be that big of an issue. And if you use timecode synchronization, for example, with the Sync E in combination with the Track E, then you also will not have that big of an issue with the synchronization. But it would be a step additionally that you have to worry about, which you simply don't have to if you use a wireless unit because the audio is recorded with the video at the exact same time. And now before we transition into the benefits of a body pack recorder, I also wanna mention one benefit that both of these units have in comparison to, for example, a wired microphone. Now, in a setup like I have right here, where I am sitting in front of the camera right here and I don't really move much, there it would also be possible to just use a wired lavier microphone with a long cord directly into the camera. However, if you, for example, want to do sports in front of the camera, move around and have the freedom of not having to worry about any kind of cords between the camera and the person that is in front of the camera, then wireless units and body pack recorders both have a great benefit. If you want to do live streaming, you only have the option for wireless or wired. If you're going to do the editing after the fact and you just want high quality audio, a body pack recorder can be really interesting. Now with that, let's talk about the body pack recorder and the benefits that you have over a wireless setup. First up, for example, you don't have any issues with interference when you are using a body pack recorder like this because the signal is not transferred over the air. At least you don't have any interference problems on that note in terms of the transmission. However, you might still pick up any interference if you have a microphone that is prone to that. So that's still something you have to keep in mind, but at least it is not transferred over the air. And especially if you're, for example, in an area where there is a conference going on, a big event or something similar, then maybe it would be a good idea to use something like this because there are so many wireless signals moving around that this here gives you a bit of more safety or a bit of a more peace of mind that your audio is not going to be destroyed. However, then again, you could also just monitor for that with headphones on the camera if you use the wireless set, because there the person behind the camera would be simply able to take that into consideration and hear when there are problems coming up. Now something else there is the distance that you can take to the camera and also the ability to walk around obstacles without ever losing the signal. With a body pack recorder like the Track E or the Zoom F2 for example, that simply is not an issue because the signal is not transferred away and that means there is no line of sight you keep track of or the distance to the camera because the recorder is always going to record no matter what. And then you also have another benefit and that is if you use a body pack recorder, for example, for shooting a wedding, then you have the ease of use there because you simply can put this onto the person that you want to record, the groom, the bride, whoever you want to record what is important and you simply start the recording at the beginning either clap sync or use the inbuilt track E synchronization with the timecode generator, and then you just leave that running. With a 16 gigabyte card, even in 32 bit floating point audio with 48 kilohertz, this would probably give you a recording of about 20 hours, and I don't think any event will going to last that long. Now this gives you the benefit of one, you don't really have to worry about that part unless the battery dies, of course, that would be bad. But you also have the benefit that the recording will be there no matter what you do with the camera, whether you turn it off, whether you switch batteries, whether you start and stop recording, or you go out of line of sight or you go further away from whoever you want to be recording and you will always have that audio on the audio recorder. I think there are a good amount of really cool use cases for setups like this. For example, the one that I just mentioned with weddings, but also with general event videography. And also, I think that this can be really interesting for someone who is doing vlogging or some type of travel hiking vlog style thing, because here also you can just simply hit record and then you can film whenever you want to film. And then you can simply synchronize all of that with the timecode synchronization after the fact and very, very easily. And there's even an iPhone app that can also do this with the Track E that I have talked about before and you will find a link in the description below. 
Now, in my opinion, both of these types of devices have their place. The body pack recorder for more of the stable safety and having that recording no matter what, and then the wireless units for having the audio and video synchronized immediately, having the ability to live stream the signal straight away, as well as monitor your signal. I personally would say the wireless unit is probably the one that is a little more versatile because you have the ability for live streaming and all of that, which you simply don't have with the body pack recorder. But if you already know that you want to have the continuous recording and you want to have the safety of having that audio definitely no matter what without any interference and whatsoever, then I would probably go for a body pack recorder. Now, on the other hand, there is a really cool thing that recently came out and that's the Rode Wireless Go 2. Now, I don't have that on my hands. However, the great thing there is that it actually features both of these functionalities in basically one set. So you have the two transmitters, which also feature local recording in 24-bit mode. So you don't have the 32-bit floating point that you, for example, get with the Track E, but you at least have a local recording and as long as you keep track of your clipping signals and you dial those in correctly, then you're good to go. Then you also, however, have a receiver that can receive up to two wireless units and you can record that straight into your camera in different modes, like for example, the left-right split or in safety track mode. So you have a lot of flexibility there. And that unit costs around 300 US dollars without additional Lavier microphones. However, just like the Rode Wireless Go number one or version one, you also have the built-in microphone on top of here. So you don't necessarily have to purchase any of those Lavier microphones if you don't want to. However, I definitely think that it looks nicer and it also can sound nicer if you have a smaller Lavier instead of having this clipped to the top of your collar here, or sometimes you can even put it on the inside like so. So it's not not as obtrusive, but a Lavier microphone, of course, is a bit of a nicer solution. Then you're also looking at about 80 to 100 US dollars per Lavier. So in the full set for the Wireless Go for two transmitters, which also feature local recording and you have the unit to receive the signal and also two Lavier microphones, you're looking at about 460 US dollars. However, if you know you're only going to use one of those transmitters, maybe it's enough to you look into the Rode Wireless Go version number one, I personally would say spend the extra $100 because it gives you the flexibility of having up to two transmitters and also be able to use all of that. However, that's also an option. Now, my main recommendation in the realm of body pack recorders would be the Track E. Now, granted, I only have the Track E and I don't have the Zoom F2, for example, here to test. However, in terms of what I've seen on the website as well as in other people's videos, I would say the Track E has a great benefit and that is the time code synchronization, which is really compatible with a lot of devices. Of course, that's a whole ecosystem to get into. For example, if you also have to get the Sync E, which also also costs additional money. However, if you are getting into time code synchronization, the Track E and the Sync E are really solid devices and give you the compatibility between a whole bunch of other things. And in this case, the synchronization is super easy with the time code synchronization software from Tentacle Sync themselves, or if you want to use the inbuilt things like in DaVinci Resolve or also inside of Premiere Pro. Now the 32-bit floating point audio in this audio recorder is really good. I have videos made about that already, so you can check those out. But in total, if you're looking into the Track E or this ecosystem for the Track E with the Lavier that comes with it, you're looking at 350 US dollars. And then for one Sync E, you're looking at about 330. Or if you get the dual set, it's about 400 US dollars for this. Now, of course, that's not the same as, for example, comparing it with the Rode Wireless Go 2, which is 300 plus the Lavier's. So it's around 360 for two units. In this case, of course, you only get one unit, but again, you get 32-bit floating point audio and you get the feature set of proper time code synchronization. A couple more alternatives in terms of what I would recommend. If you want to just have one wireless unit and you're good with that, then I would go for the Rode Wireless Go number one, the original basically. Or if you want to use another body pack recorder, I would probably look into the Zoom F2, which was recently released, and that also features 32-bit floating point audio recording. Now, with all that said, I hope this was a video that gave you a bit of an insight in terms of the differences between a body pack recorder and a wireless unit when it makes sense to use which of the two. 
If this video was helpful for you, I would appreciate a thumbs up. That always helps out a lot. If you want to check out these products or any of the videos that I've mentioned, those links are in the description below. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can leave those in the comment section down below. And with all of that said, I hope you have an amazing day. Record your audio on the body or wirelessly transmitted, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.